congruent figures, we're at lesson 10.5, figures that have the same size and shape are congruent. It means if we lay one figure on top of the other, they'll be a perfect match. We might need to turn, flip, or slide the shapes to see that they are congruent. So look at the shapes I have here. Do you think these two are congruent? Well, what would happen if we turned this one right here? By turning it, we can see they are congruent. They're the same size and shape. Look at these two trapezoids. Are they congruent? If we turn this one, are they the same size and shape? Yeah, they are. And even if it was still like this, we would be able to take it and lay it on top of this one and see that it's the same size and shape. See? So they're congruent. Even if this one's facing another direction, we can lay it on top of this one and see that it's the same size and shape, whether it was flipped or not. See? What about these two shapes? Are they congruent? Well, if I turn it this way, can you tell now? And if I pick it up and put it on top, we can see that they're the same. See that? So these are, these are congruent. What about these? Are these congruent? These two green triangles? We can spin this one, we can turn it, rotate it, and see that they're the same. We can pick this one up and we can lay it on top of this one and see that they're the same. See? They're congruent. If we turn, flip, or slide a figure, its shape will stay the same. Circle the figure that has the same size and shape. So take a look at this flower here. Which one has the same size and shape? This one? or this one. So how can we tell? Well, we could count the bumps, can't we? One, two, three, four, five bumps. This one has one, two, three, four, five bumps. This one has one, two, three, four bumps. So we know that this one has the same size and shape. Plus that one looks a little smaller, doesn't it? Now which one has the same size and shape? Well, this one's not as wide. This one's turned, but it looks like it's about the same size, and it looks like it's the same shape. So it would be this one. This one isn't wide enough at the bottom here. See how wide that is? This one's too narrow, so that can't be the one. What about these? Which one is the same as this one? Is it this one or this one? Now remember, it has to be the same size and same shape. So this one's not the same size, so that's not congruent. This one is the same size, it's just turned. See? If we turned this one, it would be on its corner, just like that one. Okay? So let's take a look at these here. We can draw a figure with the same shape and size by counting the dots. We'll count how many units we go. So we can see at the top here that it goes one, two, three, four units down on an angle like that. See that? So we could do that here. We could go one, two, three, four units down. We can see it went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units across. So we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units across, and one, two, three, four units up. One, two, three, four units up. Are they the same size and shape? They certainly are. So by counting the dots, and how many units they were, we can make the same size and shape. How about this one? Can we make the same size and shape? 
We sure can. All we have to do is count the units. So it went one, two, three units across the top. So we can go one, two, three across the top. See, there's four dots, but it's three units. One unit, two unit, three unit. See that? One unit, two unit, three unit. Then it went one, two units down on an angle. One, two on an angle. Then it went one, two, three units down. One, two, three units down. Then two units again. Then three units. One, two, and one, two, three. Then it went one, two units. One, two, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, and then one, two again. And it's not as neat, but is it the same size and shape? Yeah, it is. So by counting the dots and going the same amount of units, we can make the same size and shape. Okay? Let's try some critical thinking. Look at these figures. What will the red one look like if we turn it or flip it? Will it be congruent to the blue one? What do you think? If we turn or flip this red one, will it be congruent to this one? Well, let's try turning it. Do they look congruent? Yeah, they do, don't they? So by turning it, it looked congruent. What if we flip it? What if we flip it this way? Now are they congruent? No. What if we turn it this way? Nope. But if we put it this way, look, we can lay it right over the top of it, and now they are congruent. So sometimes you can turn them, sometimes you can flip them, sometimes you can do both. In this case, we could only turn it, because when we tried flipping it, it wasn't congruent. See that? And even if we try turning it this way, they're not congruent. So they were only congruent this way. See? All right. Okay. So remember, congruent means you can lay the shapes on top of each other, whether you have to spin them or slide them or whatever. But if you lay the shapes on top of each other, they'll be a perfect match. Okay? That's congruent. We're going to talk about perimeter next. That's how big something is around its outside edge. Okay? I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.